Hi everyone, this is Brian Seymour. I'm the Director of Instructional Technology for Pickerton Local School District and I'm coming to you today to show you how to set up um, contact lists um, in um, Gmail. So basically we've got our fictitious uh, character here, Bob Ross. Yes, happy little tree, Bob Ross. Um, and I'm going to show you how we can set up contact lists. Now in a previous video that I've sent out talks about how to export all of your contacts out of first class and putting those into uh, Google. So now you've basically you've got all your contacts in there. So if you go here to where it says mail, pull down to contacts, here are now all of those contacts that are were ex exported from my um, first class account over into um, this fictitious um, Gmail account. So now what I want to do is I want to create um, a parent list or I want to create something where I can email it out really really quickly okay so what you're gonna do is this is hidden so notice how if I move this it moves alright so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go down here to where it says new group and you're gonna click on new group and you're gonna title this something so let's say I title this parents alright so maybe I want to send out a newsletter every week or something to parents all right, so then you go parents, and then you'll notice it comes up here. So you have starred, you have imported, and you have parents, and then I had to test one here too. So parents, and if you click on that, it comes up completely empty. So from there, all you do is you go up to this little guy, little guy with the plus sign, and you say add to parents. And it will pull up this little box, and all you'll need to do then is start typing in the names of people, and you can hit the tab bar of people that you want to add to this list and it'll put a comma after each one um, so on and so forth until you get to everybody that you want to have in that list once you have everybody you have in that list then you click on add and it'll put everybody into that list Okay. now to send an email to that group just the same way we've done before so we called this one parents so we'll compose, type in parents, there it is. It does take a few seconds for it to register. So parents, and now it auto-populates all of those into there, and now I can send my email off to this group. You can create as many of these as you want. Everything's done in the contacts section and you can have multiple lists, you could have different periods, you could have different groups, you could have this, that, whatever. You're just going to create them basically the same way that we just did. Alright, enjoy creating lists.